Welcome back to Rum Pup Bath and Beauty Soap Kitchen. This is the final and sixth soap that I've made today. <laughs> but it is, oh gloves, oh. But it is the first of our winter solstice soaps. This is called Mr. Blue Sky by ELO. It is inspired by that lovely, lovely song. It's kind of funny because most of our um, winter solstice soaps have sort of like a, a haunting vibe to them. And I told my daughter, I said, we can't have all depressing, you know, kind of haunting songs in our, in the winter because we need something happy and bright and cheerful. So, Mr. Blue Sky is it, and you know what I just realized? I didn't measure my fragrance, so let me go do that. I'll be right back. We are back. I can't believe I did that. This fragrance is called uh, Blue Winter Sky by Crafter's Choice, and this is our Hawthorne recipe. All of our solstice soaps are our Hawthorne recipe. So I have heavy cream in my oils and in my lye water, OMG, you guys, I don't even have any spatulas. Can you believe that? I, like I said, this is the sixth soap I have made tonight. So yeah, let me get spatulas. I only need two. Oh my gosh. Woo, having a day. Okay. So let me get this mixed almost to emulsion and then we will uh, add our yogurt. Okay, let me get my yogurt in there. Simon is uh, doing really well. He's keeping together. He's not kicking up too many bubbles. Still have to get Freddy fixed because I really do love Freddy. I'm very attached to him. If you're new here, Freddy is my KitchenAid stick blender, and he was not staying attached while I was stick blending, and that wasn't working, so I couldn't get him replaced through Amazon, um, so I bought a new stick blender, and his name is Simon. I'm weird. I name my appliances. All right, let me stick blend this in here. Okay. All right, we're using three colors and we will be decorating this after um, after we cut the bars as well I have titanium dioxide and I have titanium dioxide mixed with a little bit of sterling silver so I'm gonna need um, more straight titanium dioxide than I will the silver because I'm using a little bit of the TD in the piping I just need a little bit of that. Hopefully. Yeah, a little bit more. I think I'm going to put a little bit more in both of them. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. And in the main batch, I am going to put Celestial Blue. Because we can't have Mr. Blue Sky without a blue sky. I love this color. This color is so freaking gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Let me burp Simon there. All right. Let's get this mixed in. Oh, why did I do my blue first? I have to, like I said, six soap today, guys. Look at how gorgeous. All right. I'm going to grab my water container, but you'll, I'm going to edit that out. Okay, so I cleaned off my stick blender so it didn't have any of the blue on there. I just have to, I didn't uh, get the batter off the sides again. Let's see how beautiful that is. Oh, luscious, luscious, luscious. All right, let me stick blend my white and my white gray. This is my white. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Can you guess what we're doing here? We're going to do a little bit of a landscape and we're going to make hills. So the hill in the background 
has to be a little bit grayed out because it is further away. I'm a painter, so um, definitely when I do landscapes and I'm making stuff, you know, especially like trees and stuff further away, um, always gray them out no matter what color they are. So it's not terribly, terribly grayed out, but it is grayed out enough. Grab another spatula just in case. I really am having a day, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put a majority of my, you know what, I'm going to start just with the white and put the fragrance in this white just a little bit. I thought about just putting it in the blue, but oh gosh, that smells so lovely. Lovely. So lovely. Okay, I'm going to take my clean but stained dishcloth here and I'm gonna put my mold on an angle let me get Simon out of here Ooh, don't fall all right put Simon on an angle can you guys see yeah let me put you in a little bit closer and I whoop too close and I will uh, adjust this closer to you there you go so I'm gonna pour just enough in there so I can make a textured hill because I definitely want some of this white for my piping. Uh, I just need a little bit of white for the piping. So we're going to start with that. Let me scrape this spatula off. I just got a whole bunch of that where I didn't want it. I guess it's really not going to be that big of a deal. It's going to be the bottom of the, the bar, but still. So I'm going to spray this with alcohol and we are going to let this set up. Guys, this is what we're going to do. Oh, glasses on. Glasses. We are going to pull this up and we are gonna texture this. And there is a skin on it because I alcoholed it, which is not a big deal. But I definitely want this textured just a little bit. It's not quite as set up as I would like it. However, everything else is starting to set up even though I haven't added the fragrance to it. So. We are moving on. Let me spray this with alcohol. So we are going to take this and, uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to put the gray in there, the, the white gray, down the, actually, it's probably thick enough that I can just spoon it in there. Oh, that's the perfect color. Oh, guys, I'm so pleased with myself. But doing it this way, I'm going to have to clean the sides up Oop, and that you know what maybe it'd be easier if I did it with a spoon that way I can at least get that part where you know where it touches the bottom of the mold and that other soap won't move so let me clean this up I think my youngest son just came over I think he's here which is a good thing because I'm in a part in my game where I can't beat it and he's got to beat it for me. <laughs> I miss having my boys at home when I play some of my video games because, you know, I can just be like, hey, I can't do this. I'm tired. Do it for me. <laughs> I know that's kind of cheating, but, you know, whatever. They like to do it, so. And they laugh at me. They think it's hilarious because they can do it no problem. Although there are some things like in one of the Assassin's Creed games, I can't remember, I think it was Brotherhood, there was a villain that um, Christopher was having trouble killing and I killed him on the first time and he was like, you did what? So, happens both ways, you know. I guess it's just how it goes. Okay, 
You don't want to hear about my video game escapades, I'm sure. Okay, let me move this spatula and get this poured. And we are pouring all of this. And again, I'm probably going to have to clean up the sides, which isn't a biggie. But... Yes. Trying to figure out if that's him or not. Can't hear him here real well. Okay. Let me. Is Mason here? Oh, who's here? Oh, I thought I heard somebody come in the house. Oh. Um. Why you gotta ask me that while I'm filming? I don't know. Arby sounds like, you know, really yummy and stuff. Yeah, but I don't want any fries. Thank you. I love you. Guess I'm getting Arby's, guys. <laughs> he was so funny. He stood back there and he cleared his throat. <laughs> he, had to, he could get my attention. That was cute. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's spray this. And the rest of this is going to be blue. And I know I didn't add any fragrance to that, but, you know, it doesn't really need fragrance. You know what else I didn't do, guys? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be laughing your butts off at me today. I didn't set up my piping bag. I always have my piping bag set up, but that's okay because I'm putting this, the way I'm doing the top of this is gonna be um, done in a, I'm gonna do it in a, what's it called? Oof, press and seal. So, let me just get this fragrance stirred in really, really good. This fragrance is amazing. And as soon as I smelled it, and forget the title, absolutely forget the title of the song that we named it after, that we uh, were inspired to name it after. This, song, this scent reminded me of that song. It really did. It's amazing how scents can do that. Okay, so I'm going to very gently just let it rip. I know my hand is in your way, guys. I'm sorry. So, so, so sorry. I'm going to have to plane these on the sides because I didn't get all of that off of the side. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's do a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, I'm gonna bang this. Oh well, I guess that went right up to the to the top there. So this is going to take a few to set up, so we will be back when we can pipe. Okay guys, we're finally back to pipe. It took a while for it to set up correctly. Alright, let me put this in here. And yes, I don't have gloves on, but I don't need to. There's not much piping in here, and it's a double bagged. So I'm going to do this top similar to the one I, well, I, you guys aren't going to see these in order, so, but I did this similar top on uh, another soap. It was last Christmas, just with a different piping tip. So we're going to go through, do, do, do. You know, my son-in-law just asked me before I came down here. He says, Mom, what's Bill and Ted? And I'm like, what? 
he's never seen Bill and Ted's actual excellent adventure because I guess the you know Keanu and Alex Winters have made uh, another Bill and Ted movie so I'm pretty excited for that actually it's gonna be so funny although I love you know I actually thought about naming my new stick blender Mr. Vic because I love the John Wick movies. Those are so fantastic. Like, fantastic. I love action movies. Action movies are just heaven to me. Okay. Alright. Hopefully I have enough typing to do this other side. And I mix the white with the blue. So we sort of had kind of a cloud effect on the very top. I didn't want it to be, you know, major clouds, you know, because it's Mr. Blue Sky, but there can be some clouds way up high. It is atmospheric after all. Okay. And you know what this soap needs? Actually, I was thinking about putting some of those on there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave them off. I'll just put some... Uh, I'm going to put both Super Sparkle and Silver Glitter on here. So that way that silver comes out and I have some silver in this little shaker and be very careful so I don't like you know dump it on there <clears throat> it's sort of like a a silver silvery blue more than just a straight up silver I don't know if the camera's picking it up it's got like dark blues light blues silver and whatnot in it. Oh, just a little bit more. Why not? Okay. And alcohol, alcohol. And this is another one I really hope does not ash. So, alright guys. Now that I have finally finished all six of my soaps today, I can go sit and relax. And I will see you guys in 18 to 24 hours to cut this. And then we'll finish doing the rest of what we have to do. Alright? Bye-bye. We're back to cut Mr. Blue Sky. Yay! And it's like 6.30 in the morning. Oh, gotta tighten my wire. Sorry. Um, we're at this angle because um, as I said during the video, we're going to do one other thing to this soap after it is cut. Take an end piece off. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Well, I guess I could have shown you that. <laughs> Sorry. Got a paper towel. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it smells so good. I really love this fragrance. This is fantastic, although it's really funny. When I brought my... It's going to be the same all the way through. I'm not going to cut all the bars with you. But when I brought this upstairs, because, you know, I've said it many times, I freeze myself before I unmold it so my corners come out nice and crisp. Um, when I took them out of the freezer and unmolded them, Ava, my four-year-old granddaughter, she said to me, it smells like Papa's toothpaste. Because <laughs> it's got a mint, you know, kind of scent to it. I'm not sure what the fragrance notes are. I'll leave them in the description box below. But I just thought that was hilarious. thought I would share that with you. I'm going to cut one more bar with you guys. And then we'll, we'll get to the other part of it. It's very simple. Um... We used to put a snowman on this, but we're not doing that this year. Uh, I've been really, really busy, and it's very, very time-consuming, so we're just going to do the other thing that we do to it. So, all right, I'll be right back. This is what we're going to do. I should bring these 
little suns and I know you guys if you've been following me for a while you've seen these little suns before I put them on our um, summer collab video um, except for his face was orange and the rest of him was yellow and what I have here this is white soap dough and I've mixed it with um, some more distilled water to make a soap glue with it so we are going to, this is my favorite way to make soap glue if I'm not like actually making piping. So we're going to use that to stick these on here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take whoop, some of the soap glue. We don't want a bunch of it. Oh, my paintbrush was pretty full there. Let me get some more of this off of there because don't want should get another paintbrush so there's if there's overage I can take it off so I want to make sure his little smiling face is sort of at an angle and we're just gonna stick him on there so we have a hap, happy sunny bright mr. blue sky isn't he cute he's so cute and I will leave these soaps laying down. Um, and by the way, I want the gray side on this side. And I don't know if you can see that. I've got some glycerin rivers, which actually was intentional because I wanted to give some texture to the snow. And the only way that I could do that is with glycerin rivers. So it sort of looks like somebody trampled through the snow here. It's kind of cool. So, all right, I'll just do like three bars with you guys and I'll do the, oop, do the rest off camera. So we want Mr. Blue Sky to be on an angle. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another paintbrush to get that overage off. See that? It's got some overage through here and whatnot. And I'll just take one of my smaller paintbrushes and take that back out. So up my edges here just a little bit I don't always whoop, there goes my light cord I don't think I've ever really talked about it um, I know that when we were making breakfast at Tiffany's you know way back it seems like forever ago um, we talked about beveling and planing soaps and stuff like that I mean obviously I can't plane you know the surface of these soaps um, but beveling is something that I don't always do um, sometimes I think a soap looks better with its edges on it just depends on the soap so I'm sort of picky and choosy about what I bevel and what I don't bevel so there you go Okay, guys, you guys have a fantastic week, and if I don't see you on Tuesday, then I will see you next week. Bye-bye.